today's uh, DSM video solution, uh, we will be covering configuring ad hoc group approvals based on question response in an SRD. Um, on SRM request form, there is an out of the box field labeled Z1D underscore approver. Um, this field is most commonly used uh, to set login ID. Uh, which would utilize an individual ad hoc approval. Um, this is accomplished by using SR field mapping uh, to the Z1D underscore approver field. But this field can also be utilized for ad hoc group approvals based on a question response. Uh, the format of the value that needs to be passed to Z1D underscore approval for group approvals should be support group ID space pipe space request space approver. Uh, and here you can see an example of a sample value where the support group is 11. Uh, and the request approver, uh, that's the role it's looking for. Uh, so uh, this would return all active approvers for this specific support group ID uh, that have the role of request approver. Uh, for more details on configuring and using Z1D Approver, um, please refer to this BMC community's blog link below. Uh, also, you can find uh, further details in KA 37274. Uh, now I'll go into a quick demo. Here we have a uh, test S SRD that's been created. Uh, and if we go into question response, uh, we have a simple question here. Uh, that's a query menu against CTM support group. Uh, the display value will be uh, support group name, and then the actual value stored will be support group ID. And we'll use this support group ID uh, in the mapping to Z1D approver. And so uh, the only other thing we need to do here is on SR field mappings, we have mapped to Z1D approver, and we set that to internally represented. Uh, so it uses the store value of support group ID. And uh, there's our question here, which would be the support group ID uh, with the addition of this additional text, which is space pipe space request approver. And then uh, we have also created a simple uh, approval chain for this SRD uh, using the out of the box service request ad hoc approval process. And it's just doing a simple set fields once it's approved to planning. So let's do a quick submit with this SRD. So we'll select one of the support groups here. And um, I believe there's four uh, request approvers for service desk in this environment um, with the role of request approver. So we will submit one for service desk. And if we go in here, we see that it is waiting approval. And if you go into the details, we see that there's an approval record for all the active request approvers for the support group service desk. Thank you for your time. I uh, hope you found this information valuable.